Ohio State 56, Michigan State 7. I don't even know where to begin with this. This was a 49 to nothing beatdown at the half. Michigan State could do nothing. They only had 224 total yards, only 66 rushing yards against Ohio State, which was honestly a little bit shocking to me. The only points that Michigan State scored were actually off of a turnover, but of course Ohio State got seven points of their own off of a Michigan State turnover. Five out of six in the red zone for Ohio State, one for one for Michigan State. This is I just, I, I look at these numbers, and <laughs> I mean, Michigan State was a top seven team. They, they were top three a couple of weeks ago. Like, this is Unbelievable. When you, when you look at this, I, now, the one thing I can't figure out, Travion Henderson, they only ran him nine times for 63 yards. Did I miss an injury in here somewhere? No, I know Master Teague was out, and so maybe they were being selective in well, deploying so, him so that they... It, well, Master they Teague ran. I mean, he was he, Master Teague ran 21 times oh. for 95 yards. What the heck? I thought he was limited. They, they talked about him being limited. Versa. Maybe I saw that backwards. I don't, I don't, I don't know, but yeah, that seems very odd because... I just, I mean, again, I, you know, after the first three drives, I'd turn this off. Um, but I thought I saw Master Teague was limited, and so I assumed Henderson's low rush total was because he was limited, and I read it wrong. Weird. It's I it's know. very strange. I, I understand. Like, been, uh, sorry, we're talking over each other. Teague has been Teague has been their guy in cleanup time though all season. I, I did a project for a guy, um, a Big Ten guy, earlier this season, and was looking at like who's whose rushes come in the most garbage time. And Master Teague was like the most in the nation by almost 20%. He's, he's the cleanup guy. He's mopping up. So that makes sense that he has a ton. But I thought he was limited. I don't know. He, uh, he, he certainly cleaned up. Uh, Ohio State scored on their first seven drives. <laughs> scored a touchdown on their first seven drives. They missed a field goal in the second half. They threw an interception. They eventually scored a touchdown with uh, 330 left on the clock. It was a 16-play, 75-yard drive that started with 12 minutes left in the fourth quarter and then ended with three minutes and 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. I mean, just talk, it completely taking the air out of the ball. And Michigan State completely got away from what they do. This was, you, you look at the numbers for Kenneth Walker, the third, six carries for 25 yards, and that's it. They threw the ball 38 times, completed 16 passes for 158 yards and a touchdown. I just, I, this... I, I saw this coming because if you look at the numbers, obviously, you look at whether it's advanced stats or whatever else, uh, you could just see that Michigan State's pass defense was really bad. Well, one of the ways to combat that is find a way to keep the ball away from them. And they just didn't do it. And I don't know why they did it that way. I mean, I, I have no idea what the thinking was. But, hey, I mean, Mel Tucker's getting a 10-year, $95 million deal. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I, it's crazy. I mean, I had, I had Ohio state as a third best rushing defense going into this game, but Michigan state only has the 62nd best rushing offense. I think they rushed with volume and wait and try and get a big opportunity. And they just couldn't get successful enough plays to get enough volume to even have a chance to break off a big play against Ohio state, man. They just got, I mean, they got thrashed. And even as so I, I think I was just looking at this, I think they only had the ball in Ohio state territory twice and they missed a field goal, and then the the touchdown that they scored, where they started at their own forty nine. Yeah, well, um, in the third so, I mean, quarter, they, they couldn't do anything. In the third quarter, they punted from the Ohio State thirty eight. So, oh, yeah, yeah, not a uh, not great. So, yeah, the the first three drives, five plays, fifteen yards, and a punt after Ohio State took the opening dri- uh, opening kickoff. Uh, 12 plays, 86 yards for a touchdown. Jeez. They they go down 13 plays, 55 yards on their next drive. Um, Michigan State does and missed a field goal. And then the next drive went five plays, 19 yards, and they fumbled, and Ohio State immediately scored. So, you know, I mean, <laughs> you can't give them short fields. You can't make mistakes. You can't be missing field goals. Uh, after that, it was uh, three plays, six yards punt. Three plays, negative 10 yards punt. Three plays, five yards punt. You know, six plays, 16 yards, punt. Four plays, 38 yards, punt. Uh, three plays, zero yards, punt. And then they finally got a touchdown late, but, like, I mean, that was on a short field, you know? So, <laughs> I mean, I just, Josh uh, Josh jumps nothing. in on YouTube said, that's some LSU stats. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's pretty absurd. Ryan jumped in. He said, it had Michigan State plus 19 and a half, brutal and over quick. Yes. Yes. It was yeah. a disaster. Only one three and out for Ohio State, five for Michigan State. Just 
just brutal. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.